We are at Cedia 2022, day two, and we're in an exciting booth, Kaleidoscape, and most of you guys are probably familiar with it. We've had Kaleidoscape at our M-Wave event. Taylor, thanks so much for inviting us to your booth. I'd love to kind of share what you have to offer here at Cedia 22, a little bit about your products. Absolutely, thanks for being here, really appreciate it. I'm Taylor Stansbury, I'm CEO of Kaleidoscape, and we're here at Cedia 2022 to show off some new products. Kaleidoscape is the ultimate movie player. We provide movies at a much higher bit rate for both audio and video so that the sound and the picture just shows up brilliantly through your entire system. We're the first link in the chain. You start with the source and then it goes through your processor to your projector, to your amplifiers, to your speakers. And if you don't have the bits there, you can't interpolate all of them and it just isn't gonna sound or look as good. In fact, 30 of the different booths around the show are running Kaleidoscape as their source because they know their equipment looks and sounds better with us as the source. Taylor, like you mentioned, we've been touring a lot of these booths. I've contracted with a bunch of different brands and many of them we've seen have Kaleidoscape in their booth. It's been super cool. There's a lot of benefits to Kaleidoscape. So maybe tell us a little bit about Kaleidoscape. What is the format? What does somebody get from a Kaleidoscape? Because there may be some of you that have never heard of Kaleidoscape or maybe you're just not familiar with what it has to offer. Great, well, great question. So Kaleidoscape is a movie service. We get movies from the studios. Mm -hmm. We have some 14,000 movies in our movie store. Sure. We actually curate them from the movie Mezzanine Masters. And then we look at every frame, we check the sound, we check the video, we check the subtitles, we correct issues. We put in integrative cues into the movie so that it knows to fix the screen ma masking so yeah. it matches the film you're watching. Nice. So it knows when to, turn, to shut the shades, when to bring up the lighting at the end. It knows about movies that have Easter eggs in the middle of the you know, the credits, sure. so it doesn't bring up the lighting until the end of the Easter egg. Now, I did not know that. Oh, that yeah. is super cool. I knew yeah. that I did a, a huge home theater, has 206 inch uh, screen, and he was telling me how he's got it synced up with his movie titles and this and that. And it's pretty slick with that metadata, but I did not know that that is, that is super, super cool. Yeah, yeah. So, you, you get a movie, you can rent or you can buy it. Okay. It's downloaded to a server, a Glidescape server in your home. Yeah and then it's played back on one or more players around your home to different screens and projectors you have around your house. Yeah, sure. And so because of that, we have these much larger file formats. It always plays back in full fidelity. There's never stuttering, there's never waiting. It just, you always get perfect image and perfect sound every single time. Yeah. So you mentioned the, the servers. So what size servers do you offer at Glidescape? So we have many different sizes of servers. A lot of people may start with a small one, fall in love with the system and then get bigger and bigger ones over time. So that's what happened to me. Yeah. I became a customer of Kaleidoscape 10 years ago. Gotcha. And I bought the smallest one I could because I wasn't sure. Yeah. And then we fell in love with it. And next thing you know, we're buying more storage, we're buying more players for different displays around the house. And that's how I think how a customer journey goes. Gotcha. So, so we want to have it be scalable. And so we have five different levels of server going okay. all the way from six terabytes to 88 terabytes. We just announced that. Oh, wow. We just got an award for that. Super cool, congratulations. Yes, yes. 88 terabytes. 88 so how terabytes. many movies is that roughly? 1500 4K HDR movies with Dolby Atmos. Nice, so that's super huge. So if they got a small collection, they can start off with a smaller hard that's drive. Right. Is that a pretty seamless process? Is it easy to upgrade? Oh, how yeah. do, what does that look yeah. like? You can either trade in for a bigger one or you can just add another one. Gotcha. It's super easy. So how does the, do they have to just re-download all that content or does it transfer like you hard can, drive to hard drive? If you just get another one, you don't have to re-download anything. Uh -huh. And if you just want to go for a much bigger server and have just one, then you got to either transfer it or re-download it. Gotcha. So Taylor, what do we have right behind us here? What we have behind us is a GTZ 380 projector, yeah. Sony. Sony is one of our partners. They've been a fantastic partner. It's shown on a Stuart film screen screen. Uh, it's a rear projection. Gotcha. We've got Meyer sound speakers. They've been an awesome partner as well. Cool. Uh, so, and then we have Trinoff audio processing to feed the Meyer speakers. So yeah. that's our partner setup for the show. It is fantastic and uh, we love it. Super, super cool. So Taylor, I know we've got some other areas. You want to take us over on the other Absolutely. side and Let's talk about those there. products. Let's go over there. We're here to show a couple of the products that we have at the show. Okay. Uh, these are our Terra servers. Again, you get the movies from our movie store download them onto these servers and then play them to players on the local network. So that way you're guaranteed the highest bandwidth, no interruptions, 
best playback every single time. So you can have like one of these in the living room, one of these in the bedroom, That's right. wherever you have it set every up. Every place you have a projector or TV, you can have one of these players. You only need one server. We just happen to have three on display. Correct. And uh, we have them in various different sizes. They range from six terabytes all the way up to this VMS 88 terabyte that we just announced yeah. and just got an award for. 1,500 movies. 1,500 movies. That's a lot page. of media. Yeah, that's right. So one question that I have is, let's say I max out this, maybe I've got 2,000 media. Can I just buy another one, and does that sync that's up together? Exactly and right. Just get another one, plug it in, it cool. works. And then you can download more movies to your heart's content. So if they bought maybe an older one a couple years ago and they want to buy a newer one, they still work together? They absolutely do. Super, that's right. super cool. Definitely. So we got hard drive space, whatever amount of movies you got in your collection. We've got the players. What do we got down here at the bottom? What we got down here is uh, Trinoff processors. Trinoff is one of our partners. We've got one for each of the different displays that we're running here at the show. So that's probably the 16? This is the Altitude 16. Nice. We've been seeing plenty of Trinoff at the show as well, man. We know Trinoff, it's pretty much like the pinnacle. I mean, that's really, really great processing. Yeah, we, with we actually use Trinoff in our movie reviews. As I mentioned, yeah. we actually get the movies and review every frame, and we correct issues that otherwise would go uncorrected to before we publish the movies in our store. Right. And we actually listen to them all on Trinoff equipment as well as Meyer speakers. Nice. So, Taylor, you mentioned about downloading movies. Okay, so what's the process? So, let's say I'm looking through your Kaleidoscape collection, I see a movie that I don't have in my collection. What's that process look like to purchase that? Yeah, you just pick it, you can rent, you can buy, either one, and then you just download it to, it gets automatically downloaded to your server. It takes about 10 minutes to do that over a gigabit. So that was the other question, so 10 minutes to download, probably depending on your speed connection. Right. But if you got a gigabit, gigabit, 10 minutes. You got it. So basically by the time you get your popcorn ready and get your soda and head back to the theater room, you're ready to go, right? You got it, that's right. Super, super cool, man. I love it. So you said how big is your database right now, roughly? About 14,000 movies. 14,000 movies. So pretty much everything's out there. So we didn't really look at the, uh, the layout of it, and I'll probably show you guys some B-roll. You've seen it in a lot of my videos home theater tours. So when you're looking at the menu structure, kind of walk us through what does that look like? What are some things that, that people can expect from that? Or unless you're going to show us that over on another booth. Oh, so when you go into the movie store, you see various different collections that we've curated. Now, some of them might be uh, movies that have recently come out. Some of them might be things that we're promoting that are library films sure. that people may want to go back and watch. And we also divide it up by genre. We divide it up by studio. You can search, do text search. Sure. You can, it has recommendation lists that are based on the movies that you've watched in the past. Gotcha. And people like you who've watched like some of the movies that you've liked. Yeah. So, so if I watch a lot of Marvel comment, you might kind of say, hey, you might be interested in this. That'll get up in your recommendation oh, list. Oh, man, so you're going to cost me a lot of money because I'm going to be, oh, I need that one. I need that one. I need that one. Yeah, unfortunately, so you do. That's the way it works, man. So that's super cool, too. So one thing I love about Kaleidoscape is you have just made it not only just a beautiful layout, honestly, but then when you have your collection and you're about to watch a movie, I notice it kind of rearranges them. What's up with that? Yeah, we've got several UIs to help you find movies that you may want to watch that are on your system. Um, the most iconic one is the one you mentioned, which is that covers view. Yeah, I love and it. It's beautiful. I use that a lot of times because it's not copyright content. Yeah. And so I can show the colors of a projector, the functionality of Kaleidoscape. So what does it do in there when it's yeah, kind of rearranging? When you, when you pick a movie and it's at the center of the screen, what it will do is look at all the movies you have in your library, pick the ones that are most similar based on actors, directors, genre, all kinds of different factors, and then arrange those around the movie you selected. So then you go navigate a little bit up and down, find another movie that interests you, that becomes the center of the screen, and it reorganizes everything in this really beautiful, flowy yeah. way to show all the movies that are most related to that one. Sure. So when you've just watched a movie and you're thinking of watching another one, and you want to watch one that's like similar, similar actor, maybe similar genre, it's a great way to find another movie like that and just play it. Now, so they, I don't know if you've ever gotten asked this, can we turn that off? And here's the reason. Sometimes I'm looking at that and I'll go to a movie and I, I put my mouse over it or the cursor over it, and then I'm looking over here, I'm like, oh, that would be cool, and then it, it's gone. I'm like, uh, yeah, oh, where did it go? go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know the thing. So yes, that is an option. You can you can make it not shuffle if you don't gotcha. want to. I mean, I, honestly, I would leave it on because it's just super cool. Just Most fun. of the time, you're going to know, OK, I'm looking for this. You can search for it. Does it have voice? Can I say, you know, can pull up this on Kaleidoscape? 
Great question. We just partnered with Josh.ai for voice. Did you really? It's a really deep integration. It's nice. Okay. And so you just say something like, okay, Josh, play Indiana Jones. It will find the movie on your Kaleidoscape, nice. bring it up. It will open, you know, close the drapes, adjust the screen masking, uh, start the movie up, bring the right lens into place if you have, have different lenses. Sure. Adjust your seating if you have adjustable seating. Yeah. Change, you know, it just makes the whole thing. Adjust your temperature, whatever you got it programmed Just as if do. you had a virtual projectionist. Dude, that is so, I'm glad that I asked that question because I know you guys are gonna wanna know when are we getting that feature? So that's been a pretty recent kind of merging. That's right, we just announced that. That's awesome, that's super cool. They've so been great to work with. It's Taylor, fantastic. what else do we have going on here at your booth? Well, I think that we've got 30 different vendors yeah. who are displaying with Kaleidoscape sure. because they've figured out that when they play from Kaleidoscape, their stuff looks better and it sounds better. Yeah. It's that higher bit rate, richer, higher fidelity content that we offer versus what you can get from any streaming source. So that's really what we have, is anywhere you go on the show floor, you've got Kaleidoscape pushing the bits to their equipment. Super, super cool. Taylor, this has been incredible. Like I said, I, a lot of my audience are familiar with Kaleidoscape. I love what you do. I love the innovation there. Because um, we know, honestly, streaming is pretty horrible. Um, a lot of guys are saying, hey, are you gonna watch Maverick when it comes out on streaming? And I'm like, no. I'm going to the theater, which I did, and I'm waiting to buy it on physical disc. Or the cool thing is, when Maverick, you know, when did when did Maverick come out? Like, Several tell weeks. us tell us the process of that, because a lot of guys will want to know. Hey, if there's a movie that I'm wanting to buy, what does that look like? Like pre-orders, and when is it available? And and I'm probably sure it's it's due to the studio. Yeah. Maybe kind of give us some insight on that part of it. Well, obviously during the pandemic, the theatrical windows shrunk quite a bit. And starting with Maverick, actually, they started, they began to increase a little bit. Yeah. So Maverick did have a theatrical window, but we enabled pre-order from the very beginning of that so that you could sign up and have it to be downloaded on your machine and ready to play at midnight the day that nice. it was actually for release. We released many weeks before it was released on media also. Gotcha. So that's that's the process. So pricing-wise, as far as like the, the media, I'm sure that probably depends as well, but I know I've got some friends that have Kaleidoscape and they say there's sometimes there's deals, sometimes there's sales that they run on different media. Um, kind of speak maybe a little bit to that. What does it usually run to buy a, uh, you know, add it to your collection, so to speak? The movies range in price, so they can be anywhere from about ten bucks to about thirty-five bucks. Cool. And you know, typical price might be around twenty dollars. Right. So they're they're reasonable. We don't actually make any money on the content. That's not uh, so. This pricing is largely set by the studios. Yeah, absolutely. So really, but the cool thing is you got some you know some deals there, so you can add your collection as y'all have some sales there. So Michael, you mentioned Maverick earlier. Yeah. And there's actually Maverick clips playing in an awful lot of these booths around we here are seeing from Kaleidoscape equipment. Super cool. And that was that download that came out early, you know, on our on our platform. Nice. It, just, it looks so pristine. It's just a, that's why everybody's showing it. I know what I was going to ask you. So if I'm looking through your collection, am I able to watch like trailers of that movie to see if I'm interested and want to download that and buy oh, that? Sure. We have trailers for everything, so you can see it, all kinds of information about the movies. All right, so as a home theater enthusiast. Oh, and by the way, oh. if you're not sure, and you say, eh, I'm not sure I want to buy this movie and watch it multiple times, okay. you can rent it Okay. in most cases. And then if you do rent the movie, we will give you half of your rental fee back against the purchase of the movie if you say, I love this and I want to keep it. See, I'm learning here at CD as well. I didn't know you could rent stuff. That's super cool too. So again, you might want to try it. And they're like, oh, I, this is a demo worthy content. Let me buy it. So as a home theater enthusiast, one of the things that I really love to do is have people over to my home, just like you guys do. And of course we want to show off our system. And so we want to show a clip and typically like, for me, I'm pulling out a disc and I'm having to find the, the scene and then I load it up and then we play that and then I pull the disc out, go get another scene. Does Kaleidoscape offer anything for somebody that wants to set up some scenes from a particular movie and what does that look like? Yeah, you know, we talked about that we curate all the films. Yeah. One of the things we do is we actually bookmark them for scenes that okay. are interesting, that are popular scenes. Nice. So, it's so really that's kind of preloaded. Uh, yeah, it comes with yeah, the movie, so, right? Gotcha. And so when you pull up the movie, you can either say play or you can say play any of the scenes. Right. And what's a really great thing to do when you have guests over is to say, let me pick a few movies 
only show a scene from this, scene from this, scene from this. And so you can do that and there's no wait time, there's no shuffling to find the disc. I love it. There's no FBI warnings, there's nothing in the way of your sure. enjoyment. Furthermore, you can actually string those together with a script. Okay. So that you can autoplay a whole bunch of scenes from a bunch of movies that are your nice. favorites. And then your guests can say, ooh, I love that one. And right. And you know that's the one you want to play. So you can like curate that for your guests because we've curated the scenes sure. and made it super easy for you. Taylor, one of the things I love doing is having home theater enthusiasts like myself over to my home and giving them demos. So one thing that I would love to be able to do, I know you mentioned earlier in the video that there's kind of pre-baked some scenes from all the movies that are in your collection, but I would love to, to have the ability to maybe create my own scenes. You know, maybe there's one that isn't included in that. Does Collide Escape offer that feature so that I can go to a specific section and say, okay, this is one of my scenes and share that with my friends and family? Great question. So as you mentioned, we do curate each of the movies with the most iconic scenes. But if you want to make your own, there's something that is just a favorite for you, sure, you can do that. And I'd be happy to show you how. Dude, well, let's check that out. All right, let's do it. So Michael, we talked about how you might want to set your own scene okay, yep. that you could come back to later and give us a demo to all of your friends. Yes. So to do that, We've got a movie paused in a place that I think is fun. Okay. And what I'm going to do is hit the info button. It's going to set the start of a new scene. All right. And then I'm going to let it play for a little while until it gets to the place where I want. So 20, 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, whatever, whatever that you scene want. is. Okay. There he is, all depressed in the rain. <laughs> Coming in. And we're going to pause it. And then we're going to go down to set the end of the new scene. Gotcha. That's the scene. And now we're going to say save it. So easy. And we're going to give it a silly name so that I can remember it. A little bit harder to do it on your phone when I'm not looking at it. And there you have it. I That's gotcha. it. So you now call it whatever you want. Right back to it. So simple. So that's exactly what I was hoping for because I know you haven't always had that feature. So that is super cool. I love that you're continuing to add functionality and feature Collide Escape for home theaters to really maximize that movie experience. You bet. Thank you, Michael. Well, Taylor, thanks so much for inviting us, man. I love Collide Escape. Many of you guys own Collide Escape. You're rocking it out in your home theater. If you're interested, I'll have links down in the description. You can check out their website, everything they have to offer. Taylor, Thank it's been Michael. a pleasure. Pleasure indeed. Guys, we've got more content coming your way from Cedia 2022. Hope you guys have an incredible week, and we'll catch you in the next video.